get cozy everybody because today we'll be playing a game called false rebirth enhanced edition but before that let me just check some stuff uh, config reality always dash if I turn this on will it do will it crash hopefully it doesn't uh, what else monitor instant text hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This title is really cool though, like because check this out. It, it'll do the cool transition thing. Is it transition? Not sure, but it'll do the eye blinking thingy. Oh there's blood. Who is that guy with the red um long hair? Not sure. I'm gonna find out maybe later. Come on, blink. There we go. It's blinking. Awesome. Anyway, let's see. Find meaning. Cool. Uh. Hey, look. Uh, this is a... Uh, what do you call this one? A rope? That's a chair. Try to hang ourselves. Cool. No, no, no I mean, that's not cool. <laughs> Don't do that. That is very dangerous to your health, fellas. What's this glowing thing? Chairs. This place is... What? Makes you feel there's an audience in the dark, doesn't it? Oh, you mean this place makes you feel there's an audience in the dark, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of. Hey, I'm Taurus. Or am I? This is a Sagittarius, am I? This is a uh, ovaries, I don't know. What about this one? Hey, look, that's us. Hold shift to run, cool. Why walk when you can run? Okay, you should eat something first. I would if I could. Can I? I can't. Next up is neighbor's dog singing their doggy symphony of the night. Uh oh. Ooh, liquidy. Cool. Uh-oh, please don't lag. Is it my low-end PC? <laughs> change your clothes even when no one's looking. Sure, why not? Can we change our clothes? No. You lied to us. That's a window. Sorry about that, fellas. Had to unclog my nose a bit. Next, where do we go? Let's go home for now. I mean, yeah, sure. Sounds reasonable. Anybody here? Wait, let me just... Uh, I have to do something a bit first. Real quick. Let's see. Okay, looks good now. Okay. You haven't been practicing cardistry. Maybe it's because I'm trying to figure out where I am first before I practice my hobby. <laughs> my hobby, the art of cardistry, whatever that is. Want to shoot some hoops? Nope. There's a charger. Yep. Rolling around at the speed of, whoa. Don't feel like it today? No, because I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Notice the time? Hmm. Says here it's uh oh shit oh wait no, one thirty six a.m. on my end. Nope. Don't feel like it. Let's go through here. Why not walk outside? Yep, that's what I'm doing. Trying to do. Hey, look at that. Keep calm and subscribe to PewDiePie. Oh my God, that's a dead dog. What happened to you? A bigger picture is just a few steps away. Okay. Ooh, so this is what you meant. Cool. It all started right here, remember? Um, did we get isekai Can't go through here. So we go. Descend with carrot, considering your condition. What condition? My sensitive condition? No. What the hell is this? Another one, huh? 
I'm having these blacks out a lot lately. Was escaping it a mistake? Maybe. Am I supposed to be even alive? Not really. It's back. What's back? Uh oh. It's an enemy villain. Ha, huh, finally. All this can end. It should be alright if I don't run away anymore, right? Right? Um, uh, huh? What is it? That's a blue angel now? What? Why are there two? Huh? How can there be two? Uh, good question. But no one else should be alive. Where is it heading? I have to follow it. Follow the trail of the blue entity before it vanishes. Yeah, come back here. Come back here, please. Aha! I'm finally up to speed. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Aha! Got him. Almost got him. Come on, I'm faster than you. Why did it have to be now? Uh-oh. Hey, we jumped. Cool. Search, search. I could have fought it, so... It's up to you. Go or go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oopsie. <laughs> I died. Rebirth? Yeah. So we run through here. Um, go through here. Jump down. Jump through here. Then we can jump through here. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Jump through there. Owie. Hey, stop that. I used to nail this a while ago, though. <laughs> what happened to me, self? I think I'm getting old. I don't have the reflexes no more. Du, 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 du. Jump through here, up, up, and away. Jump through here. Uh oh. Dun, 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 dun. So that would have that's what happens when we get caught. Okay, now I know. Continue following. I love you is what it says. Wait, come back. Uh oh. Where did it go? Good question. Did it go through here? It went inside that house. Damn motorcycle. Hello, is anybody in here? Am I really seeing this? A woman. She looks familiar. And she's pregnant as well. Hello, neighbor's cat. So two lives. The angel of death. Who is it here for? The woman? Or her child. Hello. Whoa. Ah, uh, hello. You're real, right? And wait, do we know each other? I feel like I know you from somewhere. What if? Yeah. What if it's here for someone else? I was about to ask you the exact same question. What if there's someone else inside that house? Maybe. Is that so? Maybe being alone for so long has started to mess with our heads. Wait, is this reality? I should confirm. Um, so you're alone as well? No one's with you? That's right. Just me and my baby right here. And how about you? Not on my end. Of course. A, a guest? Please, why did you come inside? Don't take this out of context. <laughs> Have some food if you like. Oh yeah, I love food. Her house, an angel of death is waiting here. I kind of want to see if I deny, if I use um, not good choices. Take it through. If it's just her and her child, then one of them could die if we enter the house unless... Unless I keep her away from the house. Urge her to stay outside, think it through some more. Yeah, I know, but I have never interfered with anyone else's death before. 
and there can be serious repercussions if I do. I, I want to see what happens. And what if something worse happens and both of them die? If I don't interfere, I could save at least one of them. Think it again. Or perhaps I should just ask her. I could tell her everything that's going through my head and have her help me make the decision. Yes, I'll try that. Oopsie. Too late. So are you going to help me stop the bleeding or what? Thanks, lady. You really helped me a lot. <laughs> okay, so that's what happens. Okay, so at least we know what to do now. Let's uh, run through here, run through there. Run again, run some more. Go here. Where did it all go? Cool. We went to the house. We're inside that house. Yep, I just said that. What if I urge her to do something else? Am I really seeing this? A woman. She looks familiar. She's pregnant as well. So, two lives. The angel of death. Who is that here for? The woman? Or her child? Yellow. Okay, so this is where we choose. A house. Think it through a bit. I mean, there are the choices. I kind of want to see the others. It's just her. What if I urge her to stay outside? Or something. Urge her to stay outside. What? What happened? Uh oh. Oh man, don't do that. Don't do your job of killing me. Oops, I moved. Oh man. I died more dramatically now. Whoops, guess I dropped by too early. The hell are you doing? Oh, this place could really use some more bloody red. I'll come back when you're done painting. Asshole. <laughs> False and number one, deviation. So is that one of the endings? Okay. False and what I could, I, yeah, let me just get my notepad. False and one, deviation. Done typing that, so uh, let's continue on with this game. Rebirth. I wish I could just save, uh, save every, before choosing any choices, you know, that would be cool Especially for someone who wants to see what everything the game has to offer Yeah Now that we've urged her to stay outside um, What do we do now? Should we go in? Will it be the same? Uh, will it be the same if I choose think it through then you choose another urge her to stay outside choice? Let's see Okay, think it through, then uh, just her child, wants to keep her away from the house, think it through again. Uh-huh. Reject, leave. What would happen if I do that? But there's another choice to see, or should I say outside though? Let's see, reject, leave. I'll head deeper into the forest. Once I lose the angel, Behind me, and once the other one finishes his job, I'll come back to save what's left. I'm sorry, this is all I could do. I'm sorry, but there's something I really need to do. I'll be back later. Uh, hey. Oh, well. You're not my responsibility, whoever you are. Uh, who's that? Is that Moise? Who's that? Moise, come back. Uh, what? Where'd you go, dude? There you are. Hey, dude. Oh, am I not supposed to touch you? Whoopsie. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I'm back here, which is... How did I get back here? Because we're in dream. Huh? Who that? I was so excited that I couldn't work anymore. So you're finished. Cool. Send it to me, and I'll beta test it for you. I didn't finish it, I just meant that I completed my work on the ending today. The visuals, the script, the mechanics, there's a lot I still have to do. Like what? The whole game is mute, there's no sound in it yet, so I have to add sound effects, music, weather, lighting effects, and then polish it all up. 
You've left your job, shut your stuff in your room, and been working on this game for a full year now, and I thought I was finally hearing some good news. Now I'm sad. Just give me one more week. I'll fish it up and hand it to you in a flash drive. I'll be waiting. You can start putting up your stuff on Steam now. There's a testing phase, right? In which they check your game. If it's okay, then it becomes green lit. Oh wait, you didn't know? That's all a thing of a long gone past. Now you pay Steam a hundred bucks and they'll publish anything. Really? Cool. This is why you can find absolutely horrendous and buggy games on Steam. What? Really? Man, then it should be easy publishing your game on Steam. Yippee. I would have to grab a job or a gig though. I don't have a hundred bucks in personal possession. I could lend you if you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never lend someone money until it looks like they'll pay it back soon. Me without a job, but you clearly look like I won't be able to pay it back in quite a while. This game will be free as you know, so... So it's not like it'll be an investment and I'll directly make money out of publishing this game. Unless you support me on Patreon. Haha, <laughs> plug! Hey, I don't offer money to everyone. I can wait. If your game is more important and you want it to be on Steam, then I can lend it to you. You can pay me back whenever you feel like it. Okay, how about this? I'll give you the game when I'm done. You play it, you test it, and if you think it's good enough, then I'll consider your offer. Cool. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha This is not supposed to be an evil laugh. <laughs> I've got an excitement headache again. I need to tone it down. Go run around for a bit. It'll calm your nerves. By the way, I need to make an Android app. Give me some ideas on your way back. I'll go and do just that. I'll think up some ideas for you while I take a walk. Cool. So that's a little bit about a past. Whoopee. Where do we go now? Oh, what the hell? Who that? There you are. You've been all over the news, man. With the attention you're getting, your game's download number would definitely blow up. Huh. Uh, what? What? What do you mean, what? I'm not making this up, boys. Something strange is happening and I think everyone's going to die. Please, you have to come with me. Well, that went from 0 to 100% real quick. What? You're serious? I think you're taking this marketing thing too far. <laughs> no, no, look. There's an angel of death behind you and it could attack you at any second. When it does, you will die. So please, we don't have time. You have to just shut up and come with me, okay? Come on, boys. You seriously believe yourself? You just, you were your friends, right? Great, you actually believe everything you're saying. Oh man, I warned you about this. I told you not to play and experiment on your mind. I told you to come out of your house more. Talk to people, take the sun, let the mosquitoes suck your blood. It's not that. We're all seeing things, but you, buddy, you are having trouble telling apart your imagination from reality. It's not that this has been happening way before all this, and way before I started being alone. When did it start? Come on. Come on, a past doesn't take much time to come up, but a lie does. Dude, we've been friends for, I don't know, I think we've been friends for a long time, but oh well. If someone's already convinced that they're not going to get convinced, then there's no use in convincing them. <laughs> it's been happening ever since I was born. The very first thing I saw when I was born wasn't my parents or the doctor's face. The very first thing I saw was an angel of death, taking the life out of my mother. What is this? You're playing the orphan card on me? What? No. So that I feel sorry for you and do what you want? Dude, Moist, just... Sorry. Where are you going? Well, not to where the Angel of Death is coming. That's what I... <laughs> I'm going to the forest. This whole city looks like it's a dead zone, so I'm running away from it. I see. So you're not going to stop me? Wait a minute. What do you want, Moise? You don't want to listen to me? Now you want me to stay? Give me that flash drive. Huh? Why? Your game. You told me you'd hand it to me today in a flash drive so I can start beta testing it. You have it on you, right? I've been waiting all day, you know? Oh. Yeah, I have it. What about the Age of Death? Stop that wind outside of my house. You gave Moise the flash drive. Thank you. Now what? But what's the point of making games when there's no one to play them? When you're done with your running around in the forest, you'll come back and we'll all be right here. Really? 
get running. I guess I'm happy these ages are making you get out and do something physical. Boys, hey, you know what? Perhaps there's actual meaning behind what you're hallucinating. Are you sure about that? Because a lot of people have been dying. <laughs> can't find him. He was supposed to be here. You gotta be practicing your cardistry. He was supposed to be here testing my game. Oh man, everywhere I look, I can't find him. Where did you go, boys? Oh, did we spot ourselves? Huh? You're me? Uh-oh. A paradox or something. How did I get over here? It's a fanciful mirror. <laughs> but I was just there, right? Yep, we're fast as a fiddle. Or I, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, where are we? We disappeared. Huh? Why am I being made to really live this? Because we are being rebirth. A. Hey, this is the name of the game. Ah. Uh. What? Oh, moist! Don't do that. Okay, the game is uh, cutscene. Hey, uh, Spirit of Moise. Oh, well, wait, that's a grave. That's a skeleton, buried. What's this? I don't recall dragging anybody this far out. Uh oh. Huh? Wait, is that. Obtained flash drive. <laughs> uh oh. Moise. Yep, that's Moise. He's moistened up because of the mud and uh, the dirt. I see. So, this is where you were all this time. You idiot. You can't escape them on your own if you can't see them. I told you to run away, you dumbass. In the end, you're the only one who believed me. Well, not really, because he, there you are, buried alive. Uh, wait, alive now. Buried dead. I'm grateful for that. So, thank you, Moise. Oh, you mean you believe in him with, with the game? Right, right, right. I thought I thought the part you said about not believing in the angel of death or something. <laughs> now what? Okay, cutscene. The house, yep. Where did the house, where did the house and the woman go? Oh man, where did it go? Can I move? Oh yeah, I can move. Cool. Where are you, house? This grave. Who does this belong to? Do I know this person? I can't read it. The inscription is too unclear. Who are you? Tears. No, that's not tears. Someone important is in there. Why are they coming out? What? What? Stop already. I need to know. I thought someone was literally coming out of the grave. Why can't I stop crying? Tell me. We need a new pair of glasses. Maybe that's why you can't read the inscription. <laughs> hey, won't you tell me? Whose grave is this? Uh oh. The Angel of Death? No. Wait, at least give me a hint, you dumbass. <laughs> False and dude. Friend, let me just... Put this ah go away, Ant. So my screen falls into friend. There we go. We got two endings now, two false ends technically. Rebirth. So now that we, mm, there's another choice though. It says to urge her to be rejected her uh, offer and left her. Now there's another option that says urge her to uh, stay outside or something. What if we do that? If it if it's still the same, then that means I'll just have to you know skip skip like I always do with these games. All right, all right. There we go. Um. So we think it through. Yeah. And then we think it through again. We we did we did we did the first part to try to stay outside. Think it through again. The second part is gonna we're gonna have to choose. Or just stay outside. If I don't need fear, save it. We did this, we did that, so urge her to stay outside. Oh, is it is it the same? Wait, 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 wait. don't do that. No. Oh, hey there. No. Oh, I reached I reached the end. 
Ah, no, don't do that. I'm too not. Ah, uh, I'm I'm not that young, but I don't want to die. <laughs> don't. I have so much to live for. Well, not really. I don't really have. Uh, ah, we're slowing down. It's going down. Da na 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 na. Well, oh, we're dead. God damn it. Whoops, guess it dropped by too early, you asshole. Why did you come now when I'm fucking dead? This place could use some more bloody red. You sick bastard, I'll come back when you're done painting. Asshole, I can't paint when I'm dead. Well, same ending. Let's just uh, go in now, okay? Okay. Good thing there's auto save because if not, oh my god. I would have been... I would have to go through all the chasing scenes again. We uh, So what we have to do now is to choose the other uh, choice. So let's go in. Alright, alright fellas. Alright, here we are. So what we do is to go in. Don't think about it. Let's just go in. Wait, is she really inviting a stranger inside her house? Yeah, why would you do that? Just because I've got glasses on me doesn't mean I'm harmless. I got glasses on because my eyes are fucked up. That doesn't mean I'm smart. It just means that my eyes are fucked up. <laughs> People assume I'm smart just because I have glasses on. But not really. Because I'm fucking dumb as a rock. <laughs> oh, um, are you sure about that? I am a complete stranger, you know? I mean, it's fine if, uh, if, if a girl or a woman wears glasses. They're an attractive feature on them. It's like one of my... I don't know. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a weird something... Attract- I just find women wearing glasses attractive. That's all we need to know. Well, fine. Don't come in then. Alrighty then. Goodbye, lady. I wouldn't want to stand outside with the stranger danger. Well, yeah. Who would that want that? She sounds angry. I'm heading inside. Wait, please. What? You see, there's an angel of death, but I would sound crazy if I just said that out loud. I'd be delighted to come inside. Now that's more like it. Please be my guest. Be my guest. Be a pest. Just gonna do some stuff. Uh, thank you so much. Most welcome. Cool. I wonder how this is going to go. I mean, it's been two years. For, uh, yeah, I think it's been two years since I last played this game. Quite a lot of exclamation points. Uh oh. Please, have a seat. And then what? Where should I take it? <laughs> Can I bring it home? Where should I put that? It's waiting. It's waiting until all the conditions are met. Wait, let me just increase the brightness of my laptop here. There we go. Are you okay? You look like as if you've just seen a ghost. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you a little story about me being able to see a ghost. <laughs> Staring right at it, actually. <laughs> I'm alright. Not really. Oh my god, someone's going to die tonight. I'll prepare you something to eat in a jiffy, so make yourself at home. No need to worry about that. It looks like her stomach could pop out at any moment. And please, you should rest. You need to be super careful with yourself right now. I should be okay. No, 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 no. It's too much a risk, so rest. I'd like to cook for someone else for a chase, so I don't mind. I'm actually full, so it would be meaningless. Yeah, let's just lie. No harm in eating a little after you're full. Yes, there is harm. You can, I don't know, take a massive dump later. Uh, not good for the, <laughs> for the ass. Of course there is. That's wasting food. Yeah, that's another good reason. God damn it. Why didn't I think of that? There's an overabundance of resources, so I disagree. Just because you got overabundance of resources, that doesn't mean you just waste it all away. Or should we? <laughs> And also, it's unhealthy. Yeah. You'll look healthy enough to act a little unhealthy. Come on. Please, I insist you should rest. What kind of conversation is this? We're, there's no winning. Wait, are you having doubts about my cooking? Wait, that's not the that's not the point. What? <laughs> no one ever said about doubts about your cooking. Of course not. I'd have you know that I'm a marvelous cook. My family and friends kept recommending me to have my own cooking show. Good, but I don't want to eat. <laughs> But that's not the point. I would just feel bad to have you do something for me. Yeah, that's the whole point. And this woman is like, No, you just don't like my cooking. No, god damn it. But you're a guest. I could get divine punishment for not being hospitable. What? You believe that shit? Come on. It's, uh, what, what day is it? 
2022. I'm an unexpected guest, so this doesn't count. Yeah, what you said. Once I didn't offer any food to our guest because a lot was going on in my head that day. She was a friend's friend's sister's friend. What a connection. <laughs> a few days later, my friend yelled at me for being a cruel bleep for not feeding my guest. Well, that's their problem, not mine. I'm saying it right now that I don't want to eat anything. Because I don't want you to stress yourself out and pop out a child while you're cooking something because that would be just weird. For a while after that, everyone who visited us felt surprised whenever I offered them food. You screw up one time and the whole world goes mad. Yeah, you're fucking right because every goddamn time you do something good, you do your part. No one ever uh, bats an eye, no one ever does anything. They just let you be and just let you do your stuff. But when you do one fucking thing, they'll never let it up. Like, it's been what? A week, two weeks now, and they're still bringing up the stuff that I fucked up with. Even though it was just an accident. It was beyond my fucking control. It's not my fault the Wi-Fi isn't fucking working. What? what can I control the fucking weather now? Like, what? <laughs> My manager is like saying, Hey, uh, we ain't got no Wi-Fi, so can you help me bring the Wi-Fi? I'm like, did you pay the internet bill yet, ma'am? Because I can't do anything about it. Because according to the computer, we're connected, but there's no internet. So if there's no internet, but we're connected, then that means it's our internet service provider. So have you paid the bill yet? And manager's like, I don't know. Have you checked? Why am I checking that shit? You're the one paying for that. God damn it. So yeah, those are one of the things I do in my job. Hooray for me. <laughs> It's not my fault the Wi-Fi doesn't fucking work. Damn bitch. That day I promised myself to never let something like that happen ever again. Never again. Never again. I won't be back biting about you to a tree. That's for sure. <laughs> because you're gonna someone's gonna die. So, oh my god. Hello neighbor's dog. Can you keep it down a bit? Damn it. So you said and I cook. Deal? Fine. No, I mean no. Not even a bite. Making it harder, lady. Doesn't matter. Rest. I've had a seriously bad experience with childbirth, so trust me on this. Childbirth? Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> now that I think about it, since she's living out here in the forest, then she must have been seeing all the gorgeous that I drag into this place. What if seeing that scared her from coming back to that town? Take a rest of it. Oh, that hurts. Well, there you go. I was just so excited finding someone alive that the pain escaped my mind. And hold up, what do you mean that you've had a bad experience with childbirth? You say like you've given birth. <laughs> of course not. I'm a guy. Look at this beard. Isn't that a manly beard? What I was referring to was that I... What? Hmm? My mother passed away giving birth to me. The delivery wasn't proper, and I ended up developing a neurological issue where I often have these random blackouts. Not enough to shoot people in the hospital, though. <laughs> so take good care of yourself, ma'am. I believe that in a world like this, the best gift a mother can give to her child is to just be alive. And, of course, proper education and all that stuff. Money! <laughs> so the longer, the better. Oh, and also, if I happen to suddenly fall unconscious, then just ignore me, and don't worry about it. It happens all the time, I'll spring back up in a bit like nothing happened. You sound awfully happy for someone who just shared something very depressing. Well, you gotta look at the bright side. I can't see anything bright about this side, but okay! <laughs> well, what can I say? I suppose we can't control where we start, but perhaps we can control where we end up. Yeah, good lesson. I don't have the energy to be philosophical right now. Yeah, you should be resting right now. Of course. Hey, is it alright if I ask you a personal question? Sure, why not? Fire away. Do you visit your mother's grave? What? How did you know that? Oh, right. I just said that my mom's dead. Right. Hmm? To pray for her and pay respect, I mean. Um, no, I haven't. I'm afraid I don't even know where her grave is. Oh, okay. I'm super curious. What made you bring up a question like that? I never met my parents either, or at least I don't have any memory of them. What happened to them? Not exactly sure. They both passed away when I was very little. 
So it runs in the family. Well, it dies in the family. <laughs> oh, it's so dark. And so I was raised by my relatives. As I was growing up, I always wanted to visit her grave, but never got to do it. Hmm? What's been stopping you? Well, there's a child in her belly, so that's one factor. <laughs> Whenever I'm near a graveyard, I just start to panic. Death is scary, isn't it? Yep. They got this weird scythe thingy. Why do they have that? I suppose so. They brought me into this world, so I've always felt like I owe them a visit at their new home. A reason I've been having dreams where I hear them calling out to me, waiting for you to come make a visit. A permanent visit. <laughs> no going back. So I ask you that question to say how you're so lucky, but you don't even know where your mother's grave is. How about I visit your parents' grave for you? If you're not good at something, you get help from someone who is. I've got no problem visiting even the deepest and darkest of graveyards. Uh, but keep it well lit, though. And so I'll make a visit to your parents on your behalf. I'll have a little chat with them and tell them uh, you're doing awesome spectacular. Awesome spectacular? <laughs> Did you just smash awesome and spectacular? That sounds so lame. Well, I'm such a lame guy. Wait, I'm supposed to be cool here. <laughs> Hey, it gets the job done. It makes the other person feel like you're bringing me positive vibes. Whatever you say, and yeah, I like that. If it's not an issue for you, I'd like you to visit my parents' grave and pay respect to them on my behalf. Awesome sauce. Consider it done. Thank you so much. Happy to be of service. Oh wait, you should work on your phobia though. It won't be pretty for you since in the end we're all going to end up in a... Gr Stop that. Don't say stuff like that. Foreshadowing. Whoa, the fovea is real. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. I know, my kid's going to visit me in my new home. Saying new home instead of grave, very creative. If I have lots of kids, perhaps they could all visit me with their own kids and families, and that way, I'll never get lonely in there. Jesus. You're saying this like you're gonna die after this. <laughs> huh? I think I'll be okay. That's one way to go about it. I mean, who's your... Who's kid? Uh, wait, what? All these plot twists made me forget that I came here running. Shit, I forgot what to say. <laughs> Is it alright if I grab a glass of water? Nope. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just joking. There's a cup on the table in front of you. And there should be water inside that vase in the corner. Wait, you get your water from the vase? Isn't the vase for a plant or something? Do I look like a plant or something? Thank you, thank you. Oh, by the way, it's a joke, by the way. Let's see, uh... Pick the cup up. Hey, you. Okay, I can't do nothing. Oh, wait. Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. Interact with the water vase. Vase. By the way, do you have everything ready for your delivery? Yeah, I, did I? Can we check the delivery again? I ordered a chicken meal or something. Is there anything you'd like me to fetch for you? I'll be okay, I think. Uh-oh. I got the blankets, the umbilical scissors, everything the manual said. Jeez. Uh oh, blackout. I've been preparing myself for this mo- Oh, hey! Oh my god, we're blackout out. Not really, uh. Uh oh. The age of death is here. Glad I told the lady about my condition. The lady, oh wait. Blue death, what are you doing here? What's going on? Uh oh No, it's taking her soul. I've been out for too long. Well, it's out of my control for being out for too long. I got, I explained it. I blacked out, you know. Uh oh, hey, you're awake. Yep. Thank goodness, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. My eyes feel heavy. So could you take care of them? For only a little bit, right? You're just going to take a short nap, right? Yeah. He looks just like his father. Is that so? All babies look exactly the same to me. <laughs> yeah. People always say that. Wow, this baby looks like this guy. Really? He looks like a fucking baby to me. <laughs> no idea how you moms are able to tell the difference. Yeah, what the hell? Some kind of extraordinary mom superpower? Did you give him a name? What's the name? Ma'am? Yeah. What's the name? What name did you give him? Yeah, what kind of name is yeah? His name, what's his name? Solic? Wait, what? 
Why Salik? Uh, what? His name is Salik. What a coincidence because my name is Salik. Oh. Wait, uh. Wait, what do you mean? How how did you know that name? Why did you say that name? Insert uh, Batman v Superman reference here. She's dead. Salik, are you kidding me? Uh, are we talking to ourselves? But that's my name. Yeah. Why is it that? Why are, are we a clone of ourselves? No, oh my god, this is how the cloning vats work? Okay, place the baby on the table. What now? Wait, who's gonna take care of the baby? Uh oh. That's, uh, I suppose I ought to bury. Whoopsie. It's still after me? Yeah, what the hell? Uh oh. If I run far away from the place of my supposed death, then you should leave me alone for now. Uh, I kinda wanna think it through first. Yeah, let's think it through while well, the angel of death is coming towards us. Should I take the child as well? I don't know how far I'd have to go, or when I'll be able to return to this area again. But with the child, I'll be slower. Um, think it through. <laughs> what would happen if the uh, angel of death comes in? Will this kid be able to survive without his mother? Nope, that's a kid. Probably not. And so, even if I take it away, it'll eventually just die. Think it through again. Or perhaps there's no point running. Yeah. The woman's dead, the child is going to die, so what's the point of it all? Stay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, so it's not part of the ending. Crap. So we're here. Uh oh, so I oh man, we're here. We start with here. So I'm gonna skip around this part until we get to the choice now. Now that we're done thinking it through, we do something else. Kinda wish that before we uh, get to have the cho multiple choices, kinda wish we had like a save point first so that we can just load it up to where we can just, you know, choose the choices. Especially someone like me who just wants to see what dialogues are different if we choose other choices, you know. Oh well, that's life. Or maybe just a save point here. Put a save point here. You know, before we, uh, after we wake up from a blackout, there's a save point here and then, you know, yeah, that would be cool. Yep, no save point here. Yeah, it'd be cool if we just saved here, some part here. A save point here. Okay. Now that the Angel of Red Death is here, let's see. Uh... Take it through, take the baby away. Shall I be slower? Take the child and run. I was planning to die anyway. Perhaps saving this life might help me die a bit more nobly. Come on, Sally, we're going to make a run for it. Yeah, run away. I mean, it's slow, but oh well. Uh oh, what the hell? What the? How the hell is anybody going to survive in this <laughs> environment? I don't have time to prize this. I think what to do, what to do is run deeper into the forest and you can't let the angel death. If I arrive in the town first, then that's a definite dead zone. Running deeper into the forest is my best bet for now. Alrighty then. Uh oh. Oh, okay. This way. Cool, cool, cool. Run deeper into the fire filled forest. <laughs> Okay, I'm holding shift. Uh-oh. Slow and steady. Really? I don't want to slow and steady. There we go. There's an arrow here. Help! I'm being chased. Well, I'm not being chased, actually. Uh-oh. Rather, I'm someone is slowly hovering over me. Uh-oh. Where do I go? Oh, wait. Here. <laughs> Almost missed that. Keep it up. I would if I could. Uh-oh. Get off! Uh oh. Oh, okay. Nah, don't do that. This is... This is not good. Help. I got a baby, and I'm not afraid to use him. <laughs> Pant, we're almost out of the forest. Yeah. Let's keep going. Shit, where do we keep going? Here? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? What the hell? I'm sorry, I could only bury so many. Oh, whoops. That's a lot of people. Uh, where do we go?
Damn, that's a lot of skeletons. Um, where do we go? Somewhere up here? Nope. I'm glad no one's chasing me. I hope. Uh, don't let me jinx it. Am I supposed to go through here? Nope. Oh, I see. So the shift button and not holding shift button, the direction are the same because our baby weighs like a ton or something. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hooray! We have to get there. Run! Just a little bit further. Oh, wow! The falling might help. No! No, 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 no. This can't be happening. We're almost at the end. Maybe I can jump through it. Nope. We're gonna have a fried baby here. Too hot. I need to figure out a way to get across. Go over it. Uh, the fallen might help. The fallen? Hey, weird. Uh... Oh, there we go. What about that guy? I could use the trolley to. Yeah, use that. Wait here, little guy. I need to clear a path for us. Stop crying. I'm trying to save us both. Let's give it a go. Grab the trolley. Human bones are fire retardant. Retard. Re they're fire retardant, aren't they? Uh, isn't that resistant or something? You try to propel human remains in front of you. Yeah. Okay, if I throw enough of these over the fire, I can cross through. Throw the pile over the fire that's blocking the path. Damn it, can't get past that. There we go. Well, your deaths were not in vain. Whoever you people are, I'm not going to forget you. Uh, whatever is your name first, though. Need another batch. Throw another pile of human bones over the fire. My intention is not to disrespect the dead, but, you know, I need to live in order to tell you that, hey, fellas, some people are dead here, so, well, I'm like the messenger for you. Free publicity. <laughs> it's done. We can cross through now. Okay. Get up. Good news, little Sal. Oh, no. The angel of death is here. What do I do? I don't have time to think she's through. Um, hmm. Should I run through the Angel of Death? Why not? Be a hero, Billy. I'll keep my hand in the front to make sure it's safe to touch it. Full speed ahead, Salik. Ready, set, go. Ah, yeah. Got you. Now what? Where's my arm? Oh, well. Don't think about it. Anime, JRPG, video games, 2D, waifus, a harem, and everything nice. Run! Don't think about it. Don't think about it. If I just circle around here, I should get be able to get past the angel. Yeah, I'm bleeding. Damn it! Why do you do this to me? Circle around. Uh oh, no, that's not fair. Ray, what would happen if I left the baby? That would be funny. <laughs> No, uh, huh. there we go. We're still going, we're still going, we're still going, we're still going, we're still going. Yeah! Armless, but armed with the baby. Hey there, boys. We're out of the forest. Yeah, I pant. Hey, look at that. Cool image of a mother and child. Oh, what are you doing here? You're not allowed to be here. No red allowed. We did it. We're safe, I think. Well, I I'm destroyed, but I will. Oi, go home, mate. Today's not the day I die. Tell that to your boss. I think I got too excited there. Oh, wait. I don't know if these guys get pissed or not. I wouldn't want it floating on my tail just because I said that. <laughs> I should apologize. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't mean to say all of that. I just got too excited after winning a race and accidentally blurted all that out. No harm feelings, right? No hard feelings, right? I mean, I don't have an arm anymore, but... Hey, no biggie. And bygones be bygones, asshole. I think I messed up that apology. Oh, well, moving on. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose I'm still in the danger zone because... Because I have no idea how to take care of you, little Salik. I'm going straight to the library, and I'm going to learn how. <laughs> and I'm going how to learn to. You know what you'll be when you grow up? My co-op gamer buddy. That is, unless all the gaming systems I own don't break in a few years. I should probably learn how to fix them too. Now that you're here, I'm starting to think long term. This is going to be 
Oh, fuck. This is gonna get fucked. Exciting. What the hell? Wake up! Oh, man. All that just to die again? Another blackout. Oh, my God. Did you squish the baby? I hope not. Huh? What? Where, where do we go? Solic? Where'd you go, little guy? Where'd you go, little guy? Where are you, little buddy? Come on, don't don't play hide and seek now. Now's not the time. Stay calm. Hey, little Sonic, come out, come out wherever you are. Get out here. I thought it'd be a few years until you start going off on your own. You're too advanced, little guy. Stay calm. Why why wait the early start, buddy? I can understand your reason, you know. Stay calm. Sonic! Buddy, where are you, guy? What's going on? Oh my god, we're in an infinite loop again. Where did he go? God damn it, how the hell do you hide in this fucking wide space area? He's just an infant. He could have got anywhere on his own. Or can he? Did someone take him? Maybe? Was it his mother? I mean, she's dead, but... Uh, okay. No, no, no one's alive. Yeah. Unless the other guy, the Blue Angel of Death, then who? Or what? Another monster appears? Oh, did did the dog took it? Why would you take it, you dumb dog? But you're dead anyway. Perhaps a wild dog, but she's dead already, though. The dog's dead. After everyone died, there's been a noticeable infestation of dogs in urban areas like this one. Yo. A wild dog. No, 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 no. I need to go back where I started and look for any tracks. I can't lose him. If I lose him, I'll end up losing myself. Go back to where the spot where you blacked out. Where did we black out? Dang it, my vision's all messed up. Is that him? Huh? What's that? I think I can see something over there. Get closer to the object. What is that thingy? What? Money? Oh, wait, that's something else. Whoopsie. Hey there. Um, you gonna do anything to me or something? Yo, buddy, what up? Uh-oh. No. Who that? Stop it, please. Oh, man, did I lost an arm for this? <laughs> you asshole. Wait, please. Take my life away too. Wait, you can understand me? Your life? Since when did it ever belong to you? I don't know. I don't know if I have a birth certificate I can show you, so yeah, good question. <laughs> Wait, that's mom? Wait, what? Why are you still alive? Wait, what? Wait, you're not alive? Mom? Yeah. What the hell? Was that you? Wait, 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 there's more to this. <laughs> what if I leave the baby? <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Cool. Hey, look, that's us. Before everything got fucked up, let me just drink my tea here. So it's like the apocalypse or something. Like, hey, let's uh, sow them people here. Because... Nope, I can't move. Oh, my back. Ah, uh, yeah. So everyone's reaping these uh, people and they're like, oh my god. Oh wait, they're not reaping them. They're like, just waiting for them to do the right time to die. Oh, I can move. Cool. I am Music and Qui-Gon, Jake Bunn. What an interesting credit scene. I'm running away to the forest to avoid all of this, but it made it worse. Ooh, look at that. Ah, it's a pile of bones. Why are there bones here? Cool. Graphics by these fellas. Shell McAvery. <laughs> it's cool that I can control the credits. Oh, there we go. What's that? Oh, my back. Oh, don't forget to stretch, boys. Stay hydrated. Mapping by Sigma Sakur. Kiss Ping. Pungmug. Pixabay. Wait. 
So we're g- gathering the bodies, <laughs> piling all them all up on top of one another. Boy, that must smell like shit. <laughs> that doesn't smell like shit. It smells like a a pile of corpses. That's that's worse. Hello, the grave. Let's see. Where do we go? So here, there, anywhere. There we are. <laughs> oh, so that explains the first part in the game. Uh, oof. That's not what I consider hanging out. <laughs> now what? Plugins. Show. Show. Let's zoom past through here. Lots of names here. Sulper. Mal Hausner. Wow. Those are a lot of those are a lot of plugins. Oh wait, I, I, I'm gonna sneeze, holy sh damn it. Ah I sneezed. Patriot Sporters. Mother? Run to her. Oh, I can't run. Okay. Let's walk to her. It, quickly. This is nice. Your new home, I mean. Oh, man. When a home looks as nice as this on the outside, I imagine the inside's pretty heavenly. Not as bad as you thought, now is it? Oh, so you get a grave mom while the other nameless people don't? <laughs> yeah, that would take too much time. Well, it was unfortunate that you only had one child. But it'll be okay, I'll make up for it. I come visit often, so you don't feel as much lonely anymore. And I see you finally met your parents. Might as well go introduce myself to them. Wow, they're in the same grave? They're in the same... Area? Well, that's <laughs> mighty convenient. Lucky. Hello, hello. My name's Salik. I'm the son to your only daughter. I'm the life that she sacrificed herself to create. And so... And so, I won't throw it away anymore. I almost threw it away, but hey. I feel tired. Whatever I have to not throwing it away anymore. I'll just take a short nap for now. Ah, uh, there we go. Sorry, mother. I'll talk to you when I wake up. I have a lot that I want to share with you. Oh, is this where the dream started? About my life, the few friends that I had, my 3D and 2D crushes, and the weird dreams that I keep having. And also about Sigma and Sakur. Eh? Sigma and Sakur? I wonder what that is. Zzz. Did we forget about them? Or is this where they came to being? Well, that was a long nap. It's dark now. We can't sleep anymore. Uh-oh. Whoa, <laughs> wait, what? Someone's gonna take a life. Wait, why is it blue? Uh-oh. Oh, man. C can you just let me have this nap? Oh, you bastard. Wait, it's extinguishing. Oh, wait, we died. Oh, that's what it means. Shit. What a short nap. Whoopsie. Hey, at least we're all together now. Family. Uh, <laughs> grandpa, grandma. True end. Mother. Oh, so we fucking died. Shit. True end. Mother. Cool. So we got false end one. Deviation. False end two. The friend. True end. Mother. What if we kind of want to leave the baby? <laughs> I'm an asshole. Wait, what? Credits? Oh, come on. Two title. So that means... Oh, man, there's no save point, really. I can't just... Ugh, damn it. This means I have to start all over again. Damn it. So, I kind of want to leave the baby now, so I'm going to skip through that part. Okay? Okay. Wait, what? This is different. What? Did we just shoot a fucking dog? 
Why did we do that? <laughs> okay. That's... That's new. <laughs> hey, cool. Look at that. Someone's hanged. This is my definition of hanging out. <laughs> what the hell? Attempt number three, injecting myself with a high dose of barbiturate resulted in a short coma instead of death. Attempt number five, stabbing myself randomly worked, but the second I wanted to use it to end my life, it wouldn't penetrate my body. Nothing's working. Anything lethal I do with the intent of killing myself results in a miraculous failure. Anything non-lethal I do with no intent of killing myself results in needless scars. Wow, sucks to be us. Suppose all that's left is to wait for. Yep, it's back. My own personal trying to kill me creature. Speak of the devil, should I say the angel? <laughs> Let's see. Oh wait, we, I, I think we haven't we haven't uh, chosen to run away yet. Why not we? Why don't we run away? Oh well, baby, stay here, little Sonic. I'll come back for you if they're really not really. <laughs> I'm not gonna come back. <laughs> oh, look at that! Ah, hello, hello. Won't you play with us? Uh, play with you? Hey, why do you have to say like there's something wrong with me? More symbols? I mean, you guys aren't real, are you? Oh, they're not real. Why does that matter? Of course it matters. If you can see her, play with her, then have fun, then why does it matter if she's real or not? Because she'll be real only to me. What does that mean anymore, when you're the only person alive? So we're just, they're just figments of our imagination. He's right. No, he's on the left. With no one else around, reality is like an empty canvas that you can paint with your imagination. You can paint it all you want and no one would be there to snap you out of it. Because in the end, whatever you see, feel and hear is the only reality. Whoa. So come on, let's paint. Talk to Red. This place looks super boring, doesn't it? You know what you could really use? Some imagination. So try painting something over there. Whoa, that looks trippy. A triangle of some sort? Why that? I thought I'd start with basic shapes. And I like vibrant and colorful things, so that came up. How about I try something normal next? Wow, that's a map of the world. Looks like we're off to a great start. Yeah, basic. My ass is basic. Try this place next. Interact with Red again. So pretty. Why paint that on the ceiling? With the fancy dresses around and the lights pouring in from the windows, I thought something like this would just fit. I'm actually part interior designer. <laughs> Greatest... Great student in my class. Next, something colorful. Oh, I like your taste. Okay, go through there. Let's keep going. I can't talk to you. Yeah, splash it around. And why did you paint that? Look, I'm just going with whatever's popping in my head. I'm not being very articulate about it. Why do you keep asking the why? Asking questions, that's how I have my fun, so suck it up. Are you having fun, Salik? Definitely, let's keep going. Yes, we can go around and do this for other places too. What about danger of death? You're right. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, what do I call you too? We don't have a name yet. Why don't you paint one for us? Hmm, let's see. I know, I think I call you guys... The iconic name. I think I'd call you guys Sigma and Sakur. Yeah. Huh? Uh, was that a dream? That was nice. I'd like to continue that dream some more. Finally got someone to play with. <laughs> That's depressing. 
Oh, leave me alone. I'm trying to be happy here. False and number three, painted reality. Let me just... False and three, painted reality. So now we take the baby, but leave it behind because we're an asshole. Rebirth. Skip this part. Okay, we ran away. Think it through. Next is... Uh, child, um... Take the child and run. It's fine to die anyway. Perhaps saving this life might help me die a bit more nobly. No bully. Come on, Sally. We're going to make a run for it. Oh, we gotta do this again. Cool. This is where the pile of skeletons are here. So sorry, I could only bury so many. Oh well. Not our fault. Almost there. Leave the baby. <laughs> a little bit further. Wow. No. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. We're almost at the end. Maybe I can jump through it. Ah, you don't want to have a crispy baby. Need to figure out for you to fight across here. Okay, put Salik here. There you go, baby. You are now a tree, baby. I'll clear a path for us. Let's give it a go. Grab it surely. Human bones. Okay, if I throw these guys, well. I mean, you may have done something meaningful in life, but in the end, death is. We're treated all equal in death, but some others are treated better. <laughs> Need another batch. Another pile of human bones over the fire. There we go. I'm super sorry about this. My intention not to spread the dead, but you know, I need to stay alive. Okay. Next up is we leave the baby. There we go. It's done. We can cross through now. Good news, little cell. Uh oh. Hey there, friend. What do I do? I don't have time to think this through. Um, leave without the baby. Sorry, baby. I'll lose the angel first and then come back for a child. Okay, good excuse. Bye. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Wait, what? Ooh. Trippy. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, look. Isn't this a title screen? Cool. What up, buddy? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yo. Do you know why you're here? I don't, but I have a feeling that you do. You are here because you made the wrong choice. Wrong choice? You mean leaving the child? I was gonna come back for it. How was that a wrong choice? I was going to go back to get him. Yeah, that's my uh, valid excuse to make. Saving the child doesn't matter. What matters is that you don't deviate from your script. What script? The script for your story. Fate. In your script, in your fate, you were supposed to run through that angel and save the child, but you didn't. So you're here. Alright, well, now that I'm here, is something special supposed to happen? Correct, you're going to die so you can start all over again. Wait, what? Whenever you go off from your script, you are brought here, killed and dragged to the starting point by an angel. So this goes on until I do exactly as it says in the script? Bingo! You're saying that I don't get to choose? Free will is just an illusion? Exactly, all the choices you have are in a sense just an illusion. But that doesn't make any sense. Why is this happening? I wonder that myself. Perhaps it's all part of an experiment to explore the concept of faith and free will. Or perhaps the writer just wants entertainment out of telling a story with you in it. Wait, the writer? You mean God? Is God the one behind all this? Damn it! I knew it! Is he? That hurts. You know I've ruined a lot of lives, but when I turn back to marvel at the tragedies I've created, you know what kind of things I get to hear? You're like infamous Austrian guy that killed lots of people? <laughs> Why? Why did God do this to me? Oh yeah, that's in the Bible too. <laughs> How can God be so horrible? Well, you know, works in mysterious ways. <laughs> 
How could God let this happen? Uh, it's all part of the plan. It wasn't God, you idiots. It was me. I ruined your lives. I slit your dog's throat. I forced the husband to kill his wife. I encouraged those kids to jump off a building. Why did God do this to you? He didn't. I did. How could God be so horrible? He isn't. I am. I take all the credit of all the tragedies in this universe. <laughs> How could God let this happen? Because just like you, I have free will, and I am allowed to do whatever I want with it. Ahem, what I mean is, don't play the God of the Gap card. Just because you don't know who is causing your suffering, doesn't mean it's directly God. So you're the writer? Not at all, but it's not God either. There's no reason for God to play with you like this. This looks like a work of someone more human. But where do you fit in all this? Who are you? Well, you see, everything the writer does, he does it through some sort of system. Like in this story, whenever someone is supposed to die, an angel of death is sent after them. When the angel makes contact with their target at a specific time and place, that target or person dies. Uh-oh. Who am I? I'm someone who understands these systems. Hey, watch out! Oh. And because I understand these systems, I can work around them. For example, did he just kill an angel? I know how time works, so I can function independently from it. I understand how the concept of space functions in his stories, so... Whoa. Cool. I'm Ant-Man. I know how the mind works, so I can mess with your perception. Whoa. But you see, all this power is not enough. It's not enough for me to become the writer. It's enough for you to mess up my eyes though. Which is why I'm here telling you all this. Well, time's up. Hey, did you notice all this blood on the floor? Take a guess, who does it belong to? Your mom's period blood? <laughs> ah, who? It's all yours. Really? Oh man, god damn it. Oh, so that means we've been doing this for a while now. The death you get for running away from your script is a very painful one. So painful that you will end up forgetting all these off-script scenes. First, you cough up blood due to lung failure. Then, your arms and legs melt away one by one. Next, your spinal cord is ripped out. I suppose they also do this because you become easier to carry around. Ahem, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Productivity-wise. Well, be seeing you around, Salik. False end number four, revelation. Let me just. False end four, revelation. Wait, uh, so we've done running away. We've done choosing not to run away, stay. Uh, Moist dead, true when mother. Uh, we run through. Yeah, I think we've got all the endings. Wow, we did it. Good thing it's a, good thing it's a Friday because if it was like a, any regular day, I wouldn't be able to play this long. So, who is that guy though? Why is he here? Hmm. And disappears. Yeah, I think that's it. So, yeah, man. A lot of things happen in this fucking game, right? So, there's some kind of world ap apocalyptic thing going on. And then uh, a revelation that we're actually just... <laughs> uh, a literal character for us to toy with to see where his story goes damn so yeah that was false rebirth enhanced edition if you want to try the game for yourselves it's on itch.io i can't post links yet just in case because i'm still a small channel that is all for today stay safe and take care of yourselves